Big city entertainment in a small Northwoods town. Now that's something you don't see every day. For this week's In Focus, our Brenda Mack recaps Hackensack's second annual Hot Jazz Festival. One. It feels like we're back to the 1920s again. Hackensack, a town of 300, came to life to the tunes of Benny Goodman and Glenn Miller. Hackensack, which is such a tiny town, and we get to come out and experience this, is fantastic. For one weekend, international jazz musician Josh Duffy and his world-class band brought a show that has people on their feet. And we love these types of intimate shows that the crowd's really receptive, and it makes me really excited because this really is a special town here. And a lot of people have even said, wow, you're playing in Hackensack, that's not a big town. I'm like, yeah, it's not a big town, but they have so much heart and soul here, and they really are appreciative of the fine arts. And it's exciting to come back here every year. I mean, it's just like um, starting fresh every year again. Hackensack hosts dear and near for Duffy, who has spent most of his vacations here since four. And this is all made possible after reconnecting with his high school teacher, who is also here in the North Woods. That's how all of this started. Our love of the North Woods, and I just, he was, he's always been a special young man and as a teacher you recognize and you see the special kids and I always knew Josh was special and it's so great to be able to continue this and have him here now. It was hard for many to stay in their seats no matter their age it could not keep a 90 year old from not grooving to the music. I think I'm in love. <laughs> she came up to my wife and said can I rent him? So She's plied me I with made, alcohol. I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an extra special night for one special lady. The band is going to dedicate this to her for her 100th birthday. And here is the Ted Heath version of Stardust. It's very oh, it's special. It's really great. It brings me back home and it's fantastic. I can't even ask for anything more. For this week's In Focus, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.